Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's me, the Bolt the Bear, and we are here in the PTB with Dracula right now. We're going to be running, the first build is going to be the Adept, and then a second build that I'm going to put together and see if we can use. But before we do that, make sure to slap a like on the video and sub if you want to. Just remember that Dracula will be the next P100 killer I do, good or bad. So far, from what I've seen, he looks kind of neat. I know he just dropped, so like we'll see how he does in the live servers. This is just a public test build, so his numbers could change potentially. But... Again, if you guys like what you see, make sure to sub. Uh, my goal by the end of the year is 1K, and I just wanted to get this to you guys. It might be a little late because it takes forever to find matches in this uh, PTP, but here we are. We have Dominance. The first time each totem and chest is interacted with by a survivor, that totem or chest is blocked by the entity for 8 seconds. The auras of blocked totems and chests are revealed to you in white. And then we have Hex Wretched Fate. After one generator has been repaired, a random doll totem becomes a hex totem and uh, curses the obsession. The obsession suffers a 33% 30, repair penalty. They see also see the, this hex's, hex totem's aura when within 12 meters. This effect persists until the hex totem is cleansed. Then we have human greed. You see the auras of unopened chests and survivors' auras are revealed for 3 seconds when they enter a 8 meter range. You gain the ability to kick chests to close them. This ability has a 60 second cooldown. Survivors unlock these chests 50% faster. I don't really see the appeal to that one. We're going to go in without any add-ons and uh, no offering. We're just going to kind of raw dog this one uh, just to get a feel for Dracula and how he plays and stuff. I'm not expecting too much, but I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you in the match. All right, let's go. We got the groaning storehouse with Dracula. Dracula, shut up. I'm trying to talk to my... My, my viewers so we got this little so this is neat dude we got we're a shapeshifter we got wolf gameplay here could you imagine playing wolf right now like what are we doing in dvd dude this is nuts so this is like a scent thing um i'm assuming that if you run into it it does something but what are we doing here what are we doing here buddy it feels sluggish though Ooh, okay so that's different i'm gonna break this all right, we run into these. We get a little haste. I like that. I like that. I'm playing a little mini game, dude. A little mini game chasing these survivors. So we might end up like not doing too well um, at the start here. So we got. I want to see what this looks like. Okay, interesting. Kind of a neat zoning and long, long range attack. I am <clears throat> completely disoriented. These guys are probably going to kick my ass. And also the Q times are pretty bad, so... If I can make this work, I'd love to, uh... Ooh, we can double tap with it. Okay, okay. I like that. I don't know where he went. Homie left. The homie left, and I don't know where he went. All right, we'll see if we can't make our way around here and find somebody. Okay. So I thought the hex totem only activate <clears throat> activates once. Uh, oh, look at that vault! And what's up, Michaela? Boom! Get a little haste from her scent. We can smell you, Michaela. Stinky. She didn't double back. But maybe we get there? Maybe not. Okay. Oh, my face! I <clears throat> I might be staying in this form too long. I just kind of want to... Um... This form might actually be good for catching up, though, if you if you get the scent. Like, get, uh, grab the scent markers. These guys seem to be... Not bad. Oh, I'm missing my M1s. Not that one, though. Can I get this? Nice. We got it, dude. With the double tap. The double tap. So, th does this mean that we could that we could potentially get a werewolf in the future? Is that what this means? We could potentially get a werewolf in the future? Oh, my internet says that uh, it's acting up. Oh, my nails aren't long right now. Why is that? Oh, there they go. That was weird. Oh, I like that, dude. 
I like that a lot. Where'd she go? That's cool. That's very reminiscent of, like, uh, Pyramid Head. <clears throat> Alright, we'll pop her up on the hook. <laughs> the way he went. Oh. Okay. We'll form. We got two hooks. We're not doing too great. Run around the outside. Oh, you just dropped that. You just dropped that. I don't know what the survivor perks are, so I don't know what the survivors have it like are capable of in terms of his new perks. Oh, I missed. I missed. This is kind of tough. Sorry if this is painful to watch, guys. I understand. Uh, hey, learning new, learning new stuff and all that. I like that it's kind of his spirit doing that. What's up, man? How's it going? It's me, Dracula. Mmm, Dracula. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm, I have no obligate, like, no reason not to injure you. Sorry, I was going to say something witty, but I'm not as witty as Dracula. So we're just, this is the bat form. And apparently you can transform, I mean, you can, like, grab vaults or something. Okay. So... What I'm getting at is I I I, I want to try I'm all ears on this person on this killer. Maybe we get him here. Oh, we should get the hit here. Oh, a little lag, a little lag spike. Okay, the pre-drop. That was a weird drop. Um. Oh, you committed to that. Okay. These guys aren't playing around. They want me to uh, really struggle with with the adept, even though I know I know what you guys are saying. Why are you doing adept in PTP? You don't get any credit for it. I just want to try it, you know, to say that I did it. Test out the perks and see uh, see what's going on. All right. Well, that's pretty wild. That's pretty wild that you just run at me like that. They're probably gonna finish that gen because of that, right? Mmm, we got some pressure here. We got some pressure here. You know what would have been smarter is if I uh, used Hellfire. What are you doing? Ooh, wait, this is perfect use for it. Mmm. Zoning potential and blocking the windows. Love it. Throw them up on the hook. This is where we come back. I can feel it, dude. I can feel it. So, the Obsession, I believe, I is doing, like, 33%. Um, like, that's the penalty they're they're taking to, uh... To, to... Ooh, somebody broke it, though. Kind of... <laughs> the Trevor voice actor kind of sounds like the person that voiced Bale. From Elden Ring. All right, we should get the down from that. Very nice, dude. If we can keep two people on a hook at a time, this is gonna be very hard for them to come back because they have to heal or take the trade. And they chose to heal, so that means we can kind of make our way back over here. Is that Matt Mercer again? I don't know if it is, but uh. That's pretty cool if it is. It kind of sounds like him. Okay. We'll take the hit here. Uh, and we'll take this person. Yeah, like I said, if we can keep two people on a hook at a time, we should be sitting pretty. Nice, dude. Nice. That's a down. And then we're go what we're going to do is we're going to use the bats. We're going to use the bats and... Uh, we should be able to get over there with the teleport, right? Oh, that's not how the teleport works. Okay. 
And look at that, just like that. I think you're out of the game, right? No, no, no. I don't think anybody's out of the game yet. Wait, she could be? I don't know. No, no, they're not. There we go. Here we are. Kind of like spirit, we're tracking. Force push the door open. All right, they're healing too. Is that yeah? They're they're healing over there. Let's see if we can't cut them off. No, I'll take the damage, dude. I'll take the damage. Um. Damn, I thought they were gonna fake it. Uh, they went around. Um, if they take the window, we should be able to get them. Uh, no, never mind. Alright, we do this fake. Hey, we caught him off guard. This should be a, our first death, too. I don't have a Mori put on yet, but, um, I might just get, show you guys the, uh, like, the in-game, like, video Mori thing. Uh, put that somewhere in the video. Might even be after this match. We'll see. But there's our first, our first kill. We're about to have a twelve, a twelve hook game, really. If we can get all four uh, survivors, we got to check these gens. Though we don't want them working too hard, you know. Okay, and we got Michaela here. Nice. We get a little hit there. I love the how. The how is cool. Get a little speed. Alright. Nice, dude. Nice. That should be another... Uh, that's another kill. Very cool, dude. His abilities are kind of neat. I'm starting to get a little bit more experimental with them. Somebody's over here, though. All right, get a hit here. And we're right on to him. Oh, they're coming in for the body block. What's up, buddy? I don't mind hitting you either. Um, Where did they go? Oh, they were going to go back to this gen. They were going to go back and try and work on this gen. You can't, you fool. Oh, it feels good, man. Feels good. I'm gonna enjoy this killer, I think. Too early to say it's super strong or not, but uh, definitely fun. Definitely fun to do the changes and stuff. So, that's a GG's, dude. That is a GG's. Not sure if I'm gonna find this guy or not. Um, I do think they have the hatch over here. They do have an offering. Yeah, GG's, guys. GG's. All right, now that we actually got a match of Dracula under our belt, it's time to actually use a build that we think might be good on him. I, I use air quotes when I say good. I'm just trying it out to see how it goes. I'm not super comfortable with his abilities and whatnot yet, but I am going to try and have a little fun build. I don't typically recommend running gen regression perks as soon as you start learning a killer. I think it hinders your ability because then you are prolonging a match instead of actually trying to use the skill of the killer to uh, get through the match. So what we're going to do is, I'm all ears, unlocks potential in one's aura reading ability. Any survivor performing a rush to action within 48 meters from your location will have their aura revealed for 8 seconds. I'm all ears can be triggered once every 30 seconds. My thought process with this is Hellfire. Hellfire is very good. It kind of, in a way, is kind of like Xenomorph and Nemesis' uh, um, zoning potential. More like Pyramid Heads, actually, if you think about it. Um, and then we have friends till the end. When you hook a survivor that is not the obsession, the obsession becomes exposed for 20 seconds and reveals their aura for 10 seconds. When you hook the obsession, another random survivor screams and reveals their position and becomes the obsession. So I think these two are going to be really fun on Dracula. We'll see though. Like I said, this is just a rough draft build. It's nothing crazy. No regression or nothing like that. 
Then we have Furtive Chase. You become obsessed with one survivor when your obsession is hooked. Gain the undetectable status effect of 5% haste status effect for 18 seconds. When a survivor rescues the obsession from a hook, the rescuer becomes the obsession. Uh, then we have Brutal Strike by Comfort Perk. Uh, destroyed uh, drop pallets, breakable walls, and generators 20% faster. Um, just, a, just kind of a comfy build that I'm used to that I can get maybe get some value out of. And then for the add uh, the add-ons, we have sunglasses. Hellfire has one extra pillar, increases Hellfire charging time by 25%. If you guys didn't notice this already, slowly this is becoming my favorite portion of Dracula, the Hellfire. I think it's awesome. It's very much like Pyramid Head. I just like uh, said Xenomorph and Nemesis, but I'm like in my head, I'm like, oh, it's Pyramid Head for sure. And then we have the Moonstone Necklace. Reduces the size of the Terror Radius and Vampire form by four meters. That's this form right here, just straight up Dracula. Uh, I think that's a pretty decent add-on, and we'll see how it works out, but uh, it's basically, you, if you partner, uh, monitor, and abuse with this killer, you might have a, a lot of fun with him. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the match. Alright, Toba Landing. Not really sure if this is a good map or not, but we got Bird of Chase, I'm All Ears, Friends Till the End, and Brutal Strength. Nothing too crazy, got a couple good add-ons. Not good, but, uh, well, we don't know if they're good or not yet, right? Just kind of strolling around as the as the bats. They hear the bats, but uh, who oh, I hear Jen being worked on. Hello, what's up? Let's get a nice little hit here. Okay, they have no idea. I can see them. They're crouched over there. Well, I'm stuck. I got stuck. All right, so we're coming over here. Nice, 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 nice. I gotta remember too, so if you guys don't know, the Hellfire doesn't go through tall objects and that's gonna bother me because I'm so used to, to abilities like that going through stuff, right? So you're you're probably gonna see me make the mistake a lot. <laughs> because I keep is impossible. I keep thinking of, look at him, look at him, he knows. He they keep like I keep thinking it's an ob like I can shoot through stuff and I'm just not oh we can insta down very nice friends till the end value already bro you'd love to see that all right don't be over dramatic <laughs> the voice acting spot on dude i love it all right so we turn into our bat look at him look at him Shapeshift back. We see him. I'm going to climb over this, see if we can't find him. Uh, he held W. That's fine. I'm curious if that would have, if that actually goes over that kind of loop. I love the pallet break animation. Just a flamethrower coming out of your hands, dude. Okay, so he had off the record. That's fine. We'll come over here. Like, uh, that, that, what is that? Does that, what does that count as a wall? Okay, we get the hit there. Ooh, he kind of pathed poorly, but he makes the pallet still. Nice, and if you guys don't know, the add-on, I probably said it, but the add-on um, that I have gives me one more pillar. So it, I'm, I'm assuming that makes it like a meter longer or something. I don't know. Destiny can be quite All right. Times. That's Dwight, and Dwight's instantly leaving. He's pr probably playing this smart. He does. He did seem like the the juicer of the lobby. Ooh, smart dude. Oh, man. I probably could have got that, but he's, he's lithing away to get some distance, which is fine. This music's good. I enjoy this. Let's see if we can't get a... I don't think we get a pounce here. Ooh, I did miss. That's all right. We'll break that. Get some speed. Ouch. My face, dude. My face. 
Yeah, I find myself just really enjoying um, the vampire form itself. The the, the shape shifting school though. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna drop a bunch, dude. That's all right. We'll leave the chase though because we want to. Um, we don't want to stick around too long. Just imagine like the wolf running at you. Nice. You gotta remember, you get two pounces. I think it's two pounces. I don't think you could do any more. I, I've never needed more than two pounces, though, so. Alright, and then we'll lift up the Hellfire here. Shoot that. Nice, nice. So that's considered a smaller loop. Yeah, Dwight thought I was gonna run through there, give him a free pallet stun. Joke's on you, buddy. I'm not doing that. Not full free. Get on the hook. Alright, Dwight. It's me and you now, baby. Let's go. Okay. What's up, Ace? I'm so stupid, dude. I'm thinking of it. I'm thinking of it like a pyramid head's power and do this. We'll fire a hellfire through the window. Boom, buddy. Let's go. Then we'll pop him up on the hook, dude. Okay. Dwight, you're kind of in trouble now, buddy. Nah, you got lied, right? I'm so stupid, man. Why do I never learn? Oh, friends till the end value and the DC, man. And the DC. You love to see it. Especially in the PTB. Not playing out the match. That's okay, though. Uh, they made Trevor, one of the Trevors, into, uh, come here, Trevor, come here, oh, it's not even the right one, it's the injured one, nice, we get that down, it's definitely gonna be a different match now that, uh, that person, uh, you know what, they, no, they got a chance. Nice, we got a little teleport going here. Oh, he vaulted back. Yeah, I'm stupid, guys. Why, why do I never learn my lesson? I'm sitting here in my, guys, how many, I'm, I'm never gonna learn. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I can I can shoot through that, and then as I'm doing it, I'm like, no, because it it says small obstacles. Be patient with me, guys. Just be patient with me, okay? Enjoy the enjoy the gameplay. <laughs> I'm stupid, okay? I don't think things out when I'm doing them. Not over here. Now... There's three of them left. Somebody's here, yep. Okay, we get the hit there. Now, if they take the window... I don't think they're gonna... Yeah, yeah, they left. That's okay. We'll take the window. Now I can probably shoot over this, right? Oh, nope, the tree was in the way. Okay, this guy's playing good. So does this count as a long, like a, oh, we got him. Nice, dude. 
What are you doing, Dwight? What are you doing, Dwight? Shit. Panic. Panicking into being stupid, dude. Now, maybe we can get him at this window. Yep, we get him. Yeah, we got him right on the edge of that, dude. Right at the corner of that. Sorry, my dogs are barking. Uh, that's it for Trevor. And then... We got Dwight here. Yeah, sorry, my dogs were going crazy. Somebody must have been downstairs or, or driving past or something. And boop. On the hook. Um, now... I saw the arrow pinpointing where they were, which means they're close. I just don't know where they are, because for some reason, uh, it, it doesn't show you when they're close. Because I don't think that person had Calm Spirit. I could be wrong, though. I don't think they did, though. But we shall kind of stick around. I know this isn't the most engaging, but I would like to find that person, and just walking away would ruin everything. Dogs going crazy again. In here? No, they do have a, a shack offering, so... Could be somewhere around here. Again, sorry about the dogs. Alright, um... We'll find. We'll come around here. They're gonna pre-drop that. That's okay. Pre-drop that. Rotate around here. They gotta take the window, and we should get this. Nice. We do get it. So it seems like it's it's like a range. It, it's not just solely oof, rotate that. Boom. He had no idea. We get the hook, and we should know where Dwight is, and hopefully we can beat him to hatch, because that's probably where he's running. Ooh, okay. So, he's over here, but he does know that hatch is at... Ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that. All right, what are we going to do? And then we're going to go into bat for him. Going to bat for him. Can we beat him there? Yes, we can. All right, now we're back in vampire form. We did beat Dwight there. That was awesome, dude. Oh. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Oh. Dude, that you can use so much that you can use that in so many cool ways, dude. That was such a GG's right there. GG's guys. GG's. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry, I'm a bot. All right, those were the matches, guys. Uh, they were Dracula so far is very fun. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay in the PTB mainly because the queue times in this are abysmal compared to the actual game, and that's pretty, that's saying a lot since the queue times are pretty bad in general right now in the ma main game. It's like, it's I know it's usually bad on PTB, but it feels like it's, it's a lot worse than it normally is. I think I waited half an hour for that second match, but hope you guys enjoyed. I'm happy to get this stuff out to you. Let me know what you think about Dracula, what you think about uh, this chapter in general, what changes would you like to see, anything like that. And make sure to tell all your friends and family that my goal by the end of the year is 1K. And we're slowly and steadily getting there. But I appreciate all you guys. Stay safe. Have a wonderful rest of your days, nights, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.